creation of the tsu-chu-nata and need to know its need for the chu sound. If it's starting at the beginning of the word, it's going to need its own unique letter. This one is happening in the middle of the words, not at the beginning. Sometimes shaped by letters like K, which have the KT, bridging directly into a ch chu. There's other letters like that I have to keep track of. In order to do a mass replace I can't just teach <laughs> I can't teach everything. When the beginning of the word is a different state I need to create an alternative chirp to function as the beginning so I might have to just do it with the dot because I've done that with the L so far shut up truck might do that as an interim but as I go through this process my mind goes straight to the use of capital letters it reminds me of capital letters as my typography is all lowercase that's not quite it it's a bit similar but it makes me wonder what what is it that cause people to create separate cases of upper and lower case. Why? Because that's also coming across as a fashion thing. But here it's a pragmatic tool thing that I need shaped by my writing instrument. So this is essentially no different to someone writing with a pen, chisel, brush. These are different tools which offer different constraints, different challenges. When trying to write with a chisel, carving into wood or stone you can't get too elaborate with a brush you got variations of thick and thin similar to a calligraphy pen so that means your starting point you start here and you have to go down the direction becomes an issue of where you go one two three four with a pen it's a little ambiguous of where's the starting point as i'm using computer to write it's got a similar type of the instrument the medium that i'm working with is influencing the outcome of the design of the letter and the meanwhile this language was shaped by a typewriter which was uh, constrained by the characters available the limited set of characters or oh, sorry it's gonna be too hard to chisel this sort of a shape or this sort of a shape or this sort of a shape into metal it's gonna be too hard to fashion print blocks for your letters for your language here you can only work with this limited set you can borrow some from the german landscape etc or the french etc so that's how a language got shaped that way things such as that letter a that that what's it, that 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 G? How do you do that G? I, I can't even do it by by hand. How do they do that? Times New Roman type of G. I don't even know how to draw it from memory. I have to check it on computer. How do they do that G? So it's obviously not that. That's that's let's see what times <laughs> Roman times New Roman. Oh right, oh Jesus Christ. That's super Jesus fuck there. Look, it's got this little taggy thing here that almost looks Georgian. <laughs> yeah, this looks Georgian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, what is that? that? That almost looks like an ant. A baby ant. <laughs> Um, anyway, we just uh, leave that there. With, I just had to uh, fix up some areas of text which required this ch, but the beginning of words that start with the ch, uh, and they need a separate one of these. What we call them die blocks, needs a separate character block. So, what I find ironic is how here we are with the technology being able to create my typographic blocks here without needing a foundry i don't need to melt metal however the level of obfuscation that i faced with technology where it's not easy 
easy to work with a word processing system that doesn't allow you to assign shortcuts so that you can use very specific characters. So facing that type of obstruction, it will be possible to turn this, all of this, into a font where, you know, I've got a whole library of blank letters for like capitals as I'm just working with one case but it's not easy but yeah the, the process of trying to create a font is really hard work it can take several hours just to craft one one letter sometimes so it's just really fascinating it's just, despite the technology the amount of effort and time it takes to craft I don't know how long it would take to forge one of these blocks for the typewriter to put on their little hammerheads the noise is particularly bad today so I better get back to it Oh my god! Get used to it!